now we got one more to go. So we're excited. Congratulations, Ryan. Thanks, Scott. Good luck in uh, next week. Thanks. Um, let me get first off your thoughts just on uh, the way that you guys kept Jerisi from being part of this game. Uh, took him out of it for the most part. Yeah. Uh, and then I'll have another question afterwards. Yeah, from top to bottom, I think everybody came to play. There wasn't a weak spot. Our, our lines were aggressive. Everybody was stepping. Uh, I think Ilya led the charge on a lot of that. When he steps, it pushes our back line to step with him. It pushes our, uh, you know, our eights to, to step ahead of him. And so uh, that being part of our game plan and making sure they had no time on the ball, I think was huge. They, they're a team that wants to play. And so every time they looked up, we had two, three guys chasing them down. They, they didn't know what to do with it. And so... Uh, put us in a really good spot. And also, let me get your thoughts on the EVA and what he's brought to this team. It seems that a lot of what you guys do, it all kind of circles around him. Yeah, I love that guy. Uh, it's been a joy uh, and an honor playing with him. Uh, he's just, he's one of the best human beings you'll, you'll get to be around on and off the field. Uh, the guy leaves it all on the field every week. He's, he's, not one of the guys that you have to question, you know, if he's going to show up on a, any given game day, he's there every single time. And then on top of that, he's the first one after the game, shaking hands, saying hi, uh, interacting with the fans. So uh, it's been, it's been a joy to be his teammate. Thanks, Thanks man. Uh, two parts. Uh, first part, you kind of led the charge talking about how great it would be to make MLS Cup going through the opportunities for revenge against the Gabs, against Austin. Can you just talk about how good it feels to fulfill uh, that goal and then talk about what it will take to maintain that same type of intensity given that regardless of the MLS Cup opponent, there isn't that history. Yeah, there's, uh, you know, there's always chatter and, and the league and, and media is trying to make it a story. And so everybody throughout the week was talking about Austin beating us twice in, in the regular season. And so to be able to put uh, not just a win, but just such a dominant performance like that today on them when it matters, I think there was definitely a chip on our shoulder. I think the guys felt that, uh, you know, comments they're making about us being afraid to play them, things like that. Uh, and so to have the performance we had, I think, in, in a lot of ways is to, to combat those sort of narratives and those those headlines. Um, now, going into the cup, I'm not sure who we're going to see. Uh, we I don't think anybody on the team is hoping one way or the other. But with the way that it's been going, it would be pretty fitting for it to be the union and, and play against the team that we are fighting for the supporter shield with all, all year long. So um, we've gotten what we've asked for and we've come and performed. And so uh, we'll be ready. Whoever the opponent is on Saturday, we'll be ready for it. And the second question, um, uh, we just talked about the back lines effort in today's shutout victory. Obviously, Sakura was not available with an injury. Keelan came out for precautionary reasons of behalf. Just talk about what it took to complete that shutout. Man, it was uh, it was a special performance from the back line, and and it was a privilege to be a, a part of of the the four back there. Uh, Giorgio in the first half, I mean, just absolutely dominated GT and just had him in his pocket all game long. The guy didn't have a touch that was meaningful in the first forty five minutes, and that's because of a guy like Giorgio just throwing him off his game. Uh, and you've seen Gite play in, in the MLS all year long. He can use his body and throw people off and just disrupt back lines. And having a, a star like Chiellini come in and just lock a guy like that down, uh, he, he didn't know what to do and didn't know how to respond. And that was special to watch. I was on the other side, right? You got Murray in between me and him. So every time the ball was going to him for a challenge, I was on the other side kind of just watching. <laughs> and it was, uh, man, I couldn't help but just smile and laugh a couple times because uh, he he just did not know what to do. Giorgio was just on top of him. Uh, I think the sub, I wasn't a part of kind of why the sub happened, but uh, Seb came in and just was stellar. Like I've been saying, you know, all year long, we've got the the greatest depth at center back in this league. We've got guys coming off the bench that should be starters on any other team in this league. And Seb showed again, why he's, uh, why he's here and so necessary for our squad. He stepped in just like nothing had changed and uh, the domination it just kept, kept coming with him in there. So uh, again, special to be a part of a group like that. Hey, congrats. Thanks. Um, Ilya said that once a match started, 
I don't know what it was like for you, but I guess that speaks to your preparation concern. And, and maybe the makeup of this team. Um, what was it like for you and, and how do you expect you guys will experience uh, the next week? Yeah, I think that uh, he says that because once the whistle blows, we're just focused on the task at hand. And it, there's something, too, about playing here at the bank with the 32-52, that the whistle blows, the the dolly starts, and you just feel like you're at home, like like nobody's going to come in here and take it from us. And uh, and, and so there's, there's that confidence there, and I think that's what he's talking about. Um, I think, though, where, where – where I want to take it to the next level is you could see just the intensity that we played with. And we've had this same squad basically for the entire year and uh, uh, minus a, a piece or two. And, and there's been moments where we've showed up or not showed up or been on the front foot or not been on the front foot and, and still been able to dominate in a lot of ways. But tonight it was like, I mean, they just couldn't even breathe. Like there wasn't a moment that you felt like they had control of the game throughout 90 minutes. And so um, it was it was cool to see the intensity of it being a Western Conference final, of it being the playoffs where everybody came to to play and, and came with everything they had. And uh, and you could you could see it from the start. I interrupt you after two more for you. Yeah. <laughs> just uh, with the uh, 3252 and the rhythm that they have that's going, because they, they kind of build up this rhythm that's just yep. going the whole game. Yeah. Does that inform some of your play? Is, is that something you get into, or is it something that you know it's there because in when you're in the game, you're not hearing so much? Oh, no, it, it fuels us. We're hearing all of it, and it fuels us every time. Uh, I mean, you can, you can hear the... Uh, the emotion of the crowd when we, you know, put Chicho through on a, on a run on goal, or we put Denny through uh, the crowd, you know, gets up on their feet. You can feel it. You can sense it. You can hear it. All of that. We feed off that. It's, it's huge for us. And I think for uh, opposing teams coming into the bank and having to deal with that, you've got Denny running at you one V one and you've got the bank screaming at you. Uh, hard to hard to keep a level head, and I think it shows uh, in the way that we dominated. Have you ever played before a fan base where that that impact took place? No, no, nothing, nothing like this. I mean, this is special what the thirty two fifty two does here. Uh, the only thing I can compare it to, honestly, is playing here in the past with other teams. And when I've come here, you know, when I was on Dallas, coming here and playing, it's the only time. Uh, that I've felt something, and it's the same supporters group doing the same thing. So, it didn't feel the same in Portland. Uh, Portland, yeah, Portland has a good a good squad. I think there's a couple there's a couple places in uh, in the league that I think have a good supporters uh, group, but I, I I don't think they even come close to matching what the thirty two fifty two does. Thirty two fifty two is just special in so many ways. Um, and and maybe it's the the stadium, maybe it's something about the the turf there that throws throws it off. But uh, for me, the thirty two fifty two is in a league of their own. Well, that's the second goal, you did get a piece of that. I flicked it, yeah, I flicked it, I touched it, but it wasn't it wasn't going on goal. It no, was. Trying to get it to Rudy, so. I was trying to play it off of Rudy's shoulder or head or whatever it hit. So <laughs> yeah, it worked out well. Hey, what's up, buddy? <laughs> Uh, Ryan, Max, congratulations on the, the game over here too, right? Um, but Ryan, you mentioned there's moments where uh, the team hasn't necessarily come out on fire, so you still come out on top. But this game, clearly, you did. And I've asked the other players, you know, was that a product of something you felt in the locker room? Both Kellen and Ilya talked about, you know, this was something we built up during the week. We felt like we were to come out. Did you feel that as well? When did you realize that you guys were all cylinders going? Uh, for this match. Yeah, there's for for me and and this group we've known from the start of the season that when we play our best football nobody can match us. And the league is long, the season's long, there's ups and downs. You know, there's moments where your legs aren't feeling 100%. I would say there's a lot of moments like that. There's moments you have a knock here or there. There's moments that you just don't get up for a game in the same way and I think all that gets scratched when it's playoff time. Everybody shows up ready to go. And today was just everybody at their peak, right? Everybody focused mentally 100%, everybody physically ready 100%. And when you have that and you put that together with the talent that we have, uh, I think the result of today is, is what you see. So uh, for us, a big thing, though, is not getting lackadaisical with it and showing up next week with the exact same mentality. Because if we do, I think that we're we're close to impossible to beat.
Oh, yeah. Sorry, big guy. How do you handle these guys? They're nice. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, phenomenal. This is why we play for. Uh, we play to to win games like today and to reach uh, to reach uh, your 90 minutes away to live for trophy. Uh, I mean, this is why you play for as uh, as a child. As you grow up, you put yourself into that situation, and where uh, we have that opportunity next week. Max, before just kind of talking about the game, and you know, obviously, I have a, a big one coming up for you. This is such a different dynamic having a World Cup to kind of also have in your mind. Um, what, uh, how does this feel for you going through the season? And you're not guaranteed to get to the last game of the season, but it does get you that much closer to in a few weeks, which would be the World Cup. Yeah, I mean, uh, the goal to start off was to go all the way, and now we're we're here. Uh, but yeah, I think I, I take it week by week, game by game. Uh, there, I can not put myself ahead of the next ninety minutes, and so uh, I'm really happy that I extended all the way through, and then I have the as much rhythm coming to a, a World Cup because uh, the official camp starts November 14, if I'm not mistaken. And so, uh, to be fair, I'm gonna go a big week of preparation, and then. Turn the page and focus on the next mission. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, just talk about the experience of the game. Obviously, Elias' offense and the was putting chance after chance against uh, Austin goalkeeper. Just the importance of staying ready at all times when you know opposition is in peril now at all times, and then just the significance of uh, finishing with the game. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, it's no secret that the whole throughout the whole year you got to be focused ninety minutes because uh, we've played a dominant football today. But over the course of the season, I might see one, two uh, dangerous actions, and then it's more management. And so uh, today was about more management because the ten guys in front of me did an amazing job defensively. They were really locked in. I think they were more defensively than offensively because uh, this is why we we were dangerous going forward because we were already in a good spot when we wanted it. So uh, it's all about staying sharp uh, mentally and obviously it's good to get the clean sheet moving to, to next week. Thanks. Um, thanks. Um, Thank so obviously today your team played really well. You weren't as tested as as much as the opponent's goalie. Um, going into the next match, um, do you have a preference of who you'd like to play? And um, do you personally do research in terms of you know, their attackers and how their preparation goes into that? Oh uh, yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't mind playing either Philly or uh, or New York. Uh, it's two uh, two teams that have a good football, and uh, they're gonna play in a few minutes or hours. Yeah. So uh, once we know our opponent, yeah, of course we'll do video, uh, see what they're good at with the ball, and what, what players have some tendencies uh, off the ball because uh, it's almost too late when they have the ball sometimes. So uh, what's their mindset? What they want to do and such, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna make a, do our homeworks and uh, prepare for the next one. Hey Max, congrats on getting the win. Um, you guys are Western Conference champs and won um, went away from lifting the MLS Cup. What's the atmosphere like in the locker room? Um, you know the the goal of uh, this year. Is the MLS Cup at the end of the day? We've had success so far. Um, getting the shield was amazing down in Portland, uh, and obviously we want to top it off. The cherry on the on the top it would be the the cup here at home in front of our supporters. With, with the whole organization was looking toward that moment, and the roster was built for that moment. So um, everything, is, everybody is content with the win today, the three nothing. But uh, there's still that uh, that that bubble in our head that is like job is not done, not satisfied enough. I think uh, um, the group has a mentality of going all the way, and uh, you know, we'll we'll see who we are playing. Um, but the mentality of the guys are one more. Thank you, everybody. Next time we might have one more player here. Thank you, Max.